So in this video, we're going to talk about more on allocative efficiency. But before that, I'm going to go over production efficiency again. So we know that when we cannot produce any more of one good without giving up some other good, so when we cannot produce more burgers without giving up some more bars, we have achieved production efficiency. And at that point, we know that we are producing at a point on the PPF. Now, uh, we cannot, so back on allocative efficiency, we cannot produce more of any one good without giving up some other good that we value more highly. That is another definition of all allocative efficiency, uh, apart from the one I gave you in one of the past videos. Now, in this situation, we are producing at a point on the PPF that we prefer above all other points. So let's just find our PPF that we didn't pass. So here we go. So uh, you can see here that I marked this uh, 2.5 quantity, uh, 2.5 million burgers. Now this would be a point that we prefer, or could be a point that we prefer uh, amongst, the, amongst the other points. We could prefer this point over all the other points because, um, because of allocative efficiency. We, uh, we have, we cannot produce more of any one good without giving up some other good that we value more highly. This is a point that, uh, that reflects that. So, uh, so going back to our graphs, this would be a graph that illustrates allocative efficiency. And the point of allocative efficiency is the point, well, let me start again. The point of allocative efficiency is the point on the PPF at which marginal benefit equals marginal cost. So you can see our marginal benefit curve here and our marginal cost curve. Now, the point of allocative efficiency C is determined by the quantity where MB intersects MC, where MB equals marginal benefit and MC, of course, equals marginal cost. Now, this point is uh, 2.5 million burgers, as shown as I shown you in the PPF earlier. At that point, that point is where uh, marginal marginal benefit equals marginal cost, and when marginal benefit equals marginal cost, that is the efficient quantity of burgers. That is when resources are being used efficiently. So that's why on the PPF we preferred that point at which we were outputting 2.5 uh, million uh, burgers because because of allocative efficiency. Because, that's why we preferred that point on the PPF more than the other points because uh, resources are being used efficiently and marginal benefit equals marginal cost. Now, uh, now I'm going to talk about, well, let's just end the video here. I'll talk about these two graphs in the next video. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Can't wait for the next video.